Hello and welcome to This Week in Bitcoin, brought to you by Relay Private. There's a lot that happened this week, and we're not going to waste any time. Let's get stuck in. News number one come out of Switzerland, which we like as a Swiss company, and that is that the Swiss National Bank, the SNB, has announced further rate cuts. They're going to reduce the rate from 1.5% to 1.25%, by 0.25% or 25 basis points. With that, they're sort of front-running the trend of central banks Last month, they already announced rate cuts. Now they're continuing to do so. The ECB was one of the major banks in Europe that also followed. And from the looks of it, the whole season of you know low interest rates and uh, easy money back into the system is going to wrap up again. And there are various reasons for this. Inflation was definitely one of the talking points in Switzerland, but also the overall economical situation is not as bad with the Swiss franc as with other currencies. But nevertheless, they also had to react. And in the eyes of the central bankers, this was the right move. Well, Switzerland would have a lot of potential to actually use Bitcoin as a reserve currency, just with all of the values that Switzerland presents. You know, we've always been a country that has been holding on to hard assets for a long time, usually doing a good job with it. In the last couple of years, it's sort of been fluctuating left and right. And um, there have also been some banks that failed. So that definitely has an impact. But just on paper, the idea of having a Bitcoin balance on your balance sheet of that national bank would make sense. If any of the central bankers are actually listening, there is an initiative that proposes exactly that. So instead of maybe sort of shoving it under the rug, you could actually take a second look and think for yourself why Bitcoin on that balance sheet makes sense. There's not much we can do rather than telling you Bitcoin would be the solution. And let's see where the rate cuts takes us, because at the end of the day, we all know the playbook there. And uh, if you want to actually further strengthen the economy, maybe use the orange coin, because it has a lot of value props that would make sense. News number two are out of Argentina, and that is that inflation for food and beverages has fallen to 0% for the first time in 30 years. Generally speaking, the last five months have been an amazing run for the inflation numbers in Argentina, dropping every month and every week. And from the looks of it, Javier Milei and his administration is doing a great job. There has been a lot of criticism when he got into power that he's going to be extreme. He's going to basically reduce all of these ministries and he's going to get rid of a ton of them. But from the looks of it, it is working. And in a second announcement, Argentina has also declared that in their thinking about actually allowing citizens to settle any contract or any payment they want in any currency of choice, not really forcing them to be using the weak Argentino peso, but rather actually using whatever they feel comfortable. If you don't know it, Argentina has a big thing with an official market and sort of a gray, let's call it black market, where different rates apply. Uh, if you buy dollar from a government official state or if you buy uh, dollars from a, a street broker, there are two completely different worlds. And with these actions, the Millet administration is hoping to basically reunite the country into one common goal. This is positive news for us Bitcoiners because it would allow to push for a, a Bitcoin as a legal tender status. And from the looks of it, I think this is in the back of the minds of the administration people because they've met with El Salvador. They've seen the advantages. They are doing a good job from the looks of it with inflation. And if they want to actually thrive, they can bet on the Bitcoin bandwagon. Whether that will play out or not, we'll see. But for now, Argentinians are celebrating because for the first time in a while, they can actually live a normal life and don't have to worry about their currency inflating away. And the last news are internal, and that is that we are very proud to announce that we are now sponsoring a Swiss ice hockey team in the top tier league, the National League A, and that is the EHC Beal or Bien, depending if you're coming from the French-speaking part of Switzerland. And with that, we have the goal to bring Bitcoin to as many people as possible. All of the players will be wearing warm-up jerseys, specially designed by Relay, with very nice uh, colors on there. Uh, you've got the Bitcoin logo on there. You've got the Relay logo on there. And really pushing people to have a think about Bitcoin. Because if you take a closer look between the sport community and the Bitcoin community, there's a lot of synergies there. So we thought that would be the best place to get started. So from now on, if you are in the Tiso Arena in the ice hockey stadium, you will be seeing some relay ads. 
ads, you'll also be seeing some digital campaigns. So very much looking forward to that. With that push, we're bringing Bitcoin into the professional sports world. And we couldn't be more excited to see what the next ice hockey season holds in store for us. And with that, we're at the end of this week in Bitcoin. You know the drill. If you've got questions, feedback, or you just want to say hello, leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you next week again.